Welcome to Verizon. I'm the Verizon Assistant. Para Español, o Prima 9. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance and security, to train our employees and systems, and to personalize your experience. Are you calling about services associated with the number ending in 8227? Yes. One moment, please. And for verification purposes, repeat after me. At Verizon, my voice is my password. At Verizon, my voice is my password. Thanks. Please briefly describe the reason for your call today. One moment, please. In your own words, what's the reason for your call? Do you need tech support? I'll transfer you to someone who can assist you. Your privacy is important to us. Visit our privacy policy to learn more at verizon.com slash privacy. California customers can view our California privacy at verizon.com slash California privacy. Your estimated wait time is less than four minutes. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality and security purposes and to train our employees and systems. We may ask permission to review the service you purchase and other account information. Your current services will not be affected if you refuse permission. It is your right and Verizon's duty to protect the confidentiality of your account information. Thank you for calling Verizon. My name is Stuart. How may I help you? Uh, can I just get transferred to the bill matrix not line, uh, line please? Okay, ma'am. No problem. Any, anything else I can help you with regarding the account? No, thank you. Bear with me here. Welcome to the Verizon payment system. A service provided by Bill Matrix to pay your Verizon bill. For English, press 1 or continue to hold. Para Español, marque el do. Please enter the 10-digit telephone number associated with your account. If you do not have one, enter a... Please enter your entire 14 to 18-digit account number as it appears on the top of your bill, followed by the pound sign. Use the star key for letters. So that's something that they should volunteer. They should say, hey, before I transfer you... We cannot you, identify that entry. Before I transfer you, let me give you your account number. That's customer service. Um, they never do that, so I have to call again. And the reason why I'm going through all this is because I can never connect to my account online and pay for free. And they do this on purpose. Welcome to Verizon. I'm the Verizon Assistant. Para Español, lo prima nueve. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance and security. And this is actually the same exact 
and to personalize your uh, This is the same exact stuff that I went through last time. They didn't volunteer to give me my account number, and it, it actually took three or four calls to make, and in over 40 minutes to pay over the phone. Sorry, I didn't understand you. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Are you calling about services associated with the number ending in eight, two, two, seven? Yes. One moment, please. And for verification purposes, repeat after me. At Verizon, my voice is my password. At Verizon, my voice is my password. Thanks. Please briefly describe the reason for your call today. She's going to repeat herself twice. Three times, actually. Two more times after this. Sorry, I didn't get that. Please briefly tell me the reason for your call today. Do you need tech support? We can now use your voice to help authenticate you. You can find out more information in our privacy policy. If you would like our customer service representative to use your voice to enroll you now, say yes or press 1. And that's Otherwise, after I verified in the beginning with my voice. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. I'll transfer you to someone who can assist you. Your privacy is important. See how nonsensical this automation is? It's literally set up to aggravate and to stress you out. Verizon.com slash California privacy. Dear customer, the agent you previously spoke with for the same issue will be available in 15 to 45 minutes or sooner. We'd like to offer you an opportunity to reconnect with that agent. If you'd like this agent to call you back as soon as available, press 1. To hear more available times for the same agent, press 2. Or if you would like to hold for the next available agent, press 9. Your estimated wait time is less than 4 minutes. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality and security purposes and to train our employees and systems. We may ask permission to review the service you purchased and other account information. Your current services will not be affected if you refuse permission. It is your right and Verizon's duty to protect the confidentiality of your account information. Hello, thank you for calling Verizon. This is Joaquina. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Erica. Hi, Erica. How are you doing today? Moving on. Um, I'd like my account number, and then I'd like to be transferred to Bill Matrix, please. May I ask, why is it you don't volunteer to give the customer their account number when they call, especially when you know you're going to transfer them to Bill Matrix, and that's a necessary bit of information to have? I mean, it's customer service, so, um, and having worked in customer service myself, I personally would volunteer, hey, before I transfer you, let me give you your account number, or at the very least, ask if the person has their account number because that's necessary information to pay with Bill Matrix. Thanks. Um, definitely apologize if no one that gives you your account number, Erica. Um, I do ask customers that they have their account number before I get them over, so I'm not quite sure what happened. There. Yeah, because I never. Um, um, for all the times that I've had to call, because I, I can never log into yeah. my account, um, I never get asked, do you have your account number before I transfer you? And then I have to call back, and that's time-consuming, and it's a okay. waste of time, and it's inefficient. And I would think, as customer service, you want to be um, proactive, and that's part of the job of being a customer service role, is to um, 
make, you know, to make it a pleasant experience and to make sure that the customer who's calling in for your assistance um, has all the necessary information and uh, what have you that they're going to need to whether pay their bill or to get proper service. It's just, it's just part of the job. I'm not telling, trying to tell you how to do your job or anything, but it's just very funny to me. Every time I call in, nobody ever asks me that. And then I have to call back and go through the whole automation again. And that's just very annoying. And I know you're doing your best to try to annoy the fuck out of me. And you do such a great job at that. But, you know, sometimes I'm not always in the mood to have a fucking trigger attack and to uh, explode. And I'm sure I'm very funny when I explode and all that. But guess what? I'm not your fucking personal comedian. Excuse me. So uh, if I may have your... Uh... I'm going to have to add you to refrain from cursing. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to have to ask you to, um, you know, I'm asking you to do your job. And when it would be nice if a person calls in to say, hey... Um, before I transfer you to Bill Matrix, I just want to make sure you have all the necessary information that you're going to need so that you can pay and you don't have to keep going through this automation again. Is that asking for too much? No, it's not. Okay. So may I have so that account can number? I, can I ask a question? The other times that you called, you never kept the account number. When you Guess what? Them? I don't always write it down. And you know what? If I do okay. write it down on the, on the post-it, I don't always save it. Yeah, oh, 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 you got, you, are you, are you the patrol of uh, post-it notes? I don't, you know, I, I throw it out and whatever. It's just a red point is it's a, that doesn't, that doesn't, uh, cut out. That doesn't, that's not an, exp, uh, that's not the, uh, explanation for why you shouldn't be asking, Hey, do you have your account number before I transfer you? That's what I would do if I were working in, and I do work it. I've worked in customer service all my life. And I know that that's something that I would, I would, you know, that, 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 that in your role, that that would be the, the job just to make sure, Hey, before I transfer you to custom, uh, to bill matrix, uh, I just want to make sure that you have all the, 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 the necessary. I mean, I don't think it's really asking for too much to be told, to be reminded. Do you have your account number before I transfer you? And the automation is going to ask that from you. Sometimes it doesn't ask from me. The point is I need that account number, please. And then I'd like to be transferred. Sure. I mean, then you're ready to write it down. I'm ready. Seven five six eight one four four seven six zero 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 one. Um, I'm going to repeat, I'm going to repeat this back to you. Okay, bye. I don't care. The move. Who cares? I'm going to talk over you just like you guys talk over me. I'm like, I don't really give a fuck what you're saying right now. Who fucking cares? Okay, what? Great. Wonderful. Great. 756-814-470-001. What is it? What is it? 476? 776 and then 0001. So I have, starting from the beginning, please, 756-814-476-0001. Yes. Okay, I'm going to repeat that one more time because guess what? Most likely I'm going to have to call again because this is exactly what happened last time. And it took over 40 minutes to make a simple payment with a bill matrix. And I had to pay for that call. Okay, so it's 756 814 Four seven six zero 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 one. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, great. Uh -huh. Can I can I can I can I get the number to Bill Matrix, please? Give me one moment here. One eight zero zero. Mm -hmm. Three four five. Six five six three. One eight zero zero three four five six five six three. Uh huh. Okay, great. Thank you. No problem. <sighs> Did you want me to say transfer you now? Yes, please. All right. I hope you have a great weekend. Sure. Erica. Welcome to the Verizon Payment System, a service provided by Bill Matrix to pay your Verizon bill. For English, press 1 or continue to hold. Para Español, marque el...
Please enter the 10 digit telephone number associated with your account. If you do Please enter your entire 14 to 18 digit account number as it appears on the top of your The account number you entered is invalid or was improperly entered. Please enter your entire 14 to 18 digit account so number. So that's deliberate, and in fact, you can bill. tell it's deliberate the because there was a delayed Use reaction. The key for letters. The account number you entered is invalid. Always and that's exactly what I knew was going to happen. And that's exactly, they don't even try to be discreet about that. So let's call again. And I've already been on the phone for 16 minutes, 17 minutes. Welcome to Verizon. I'm the Verizon assistant. Para Español, lo prima nueve. This is a, a real-time harassment. And I was kind of playing it off, like in my last call, I tried to make it sound like I was having a trigger attack just to see if this was going to happen. Because that's what they do. They try to write off and piggyback whatever emotion that they detect. And I deliberately sounded like I was having a tri trigger attack when I'm not. Because I knew exactly what was going to happen. Yes. You have to beat them at their own game. And all this is documentation. For verification purposes, repeat after me. At Verizon, my voice is my password. At Verizon, my voice is my password. Sorry, I didn't get that. Repeat after me exactly as you hear it. At Verizon, my voice is my password. At Verizon, my voice is my password. Thanks. Notice the timings of that digital digitization. It's um, delayed, and that's because they're manipulating it. Please briefly describe the reason. Right there. Please. This digital digitization, you could tell it's being influenced. In your own words, what's the reason for your call? So that's the second time she's asked me that. Sorry, I didn't get that. If you're calling for repair or technical support. That's another third time. It, it just worded differently. I'll transfer you to someone who can assist you. Your privacy is important. at verizon.com slash privacy. California customers can view our California privacy at verizon.com slash California privacy. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality and security purposes and to train our employees and systems. We may ask permission to review the service you purchased and other account information. Your current services will not be affected if you refuse permission. It is your right and Verizon's duty to protect the confidentiality of your account information.
Thanks for calling Verizon. This is Sheila. May I have your name, please? Erica. How are you? Getting on, moving right on. I don't appreciate being asked that. Um, I just called. Okay, this is well, my well, third well, time. Well, this is my you. third time calling, and I'm recording the call. And I know you guys supposedly are too, but I always record every well, time. You can't record the call I always, I always, well, I can do whatever I want if I'm in my room. So, ma'am, you cannot record the call. What are you gonna do? Call the cops? Go ahead. And uh, okay, so I'm gonna discontinue. Okay, the call now. goodbye. So she's telling me I can't record the call. I'm gonna record that call. The call is supposed to be recorded. There's no law saying you can't record the call. And if I can't record the call, well, there's no there, there's no legitimate the reason for not being All able right, to record the call, especially when you're dealing with fraud. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance and security. To train and that's another thing. Um, when you call these numbers, ser customer service, they shouldn't be saying, I mean, I guess it's out of politeness, but believe me, these people aren't being polite. Um, it's bullshit when they say, how are you? Get right to the point. Are you calling about services associated with the number ending in 8227. Yes, I am. One moment, please. And for verification purposes, repeat after me. At Verizon, my voice is my password. At Verizon, my voice is my password. Thanks. Please briefly describe the reason for your call today. In your own words, what's the reason for your call? Do you need tech support? We can now use your voice to help authenticate you. You can find out more information in our privacy policy. If you would like our customer service representative to use your voice to enroll you now, say yes or press 1. Otherwise, say no or press 2. I'll transfer you to someone who can assist you. Your privacy is important to us. Visit our privacy policy to learn more at Verizon.com slash privacy. California customers can view our California privacy at Verizon.com slash California privacy. Dear customer, the agent you previously spoke with for the same issue will be available in 15 to 45 minutes or sooner. We'd like to offer you an opportunity to reconnect with that agent. If you'd like this agent to call you back as soon as available, press 1. To hear more available times for the same agent, press 2. Or if you would like to hold for the next available agent, press 9. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality and security purposes and to train our employees and systems. We may ask permission to review the service you purchased and other account information. Your current services will not be affected if you refuse permission. It is your right and Verizon's duty to protect the confidentiality of your account information. Thank you for calling Mrs. Crystal. May I have your name, please? Erica. I'll be happy to assist you. How can I help you today? Thank you. Um. I have, this is now my third call to Verizon. Uh, the first time I wasn't given my account number. The second time I asked for my account number so that I could be transferred to Bill Matrix to pay over the phone. And I repeated back the account number two or three times and I was told each time that I had the correct uh, account number. But yet when I was transferred to Bill Matrix and trying to pay, the automation claimed I had the wrong account number. And this is exactly what happened the last time. And it took me over 30 minutes just to make a simple over the phone payment. So that's where I'm at right now. 
this is my third or fourth call, like I said, and uh, it's because according to the automated bill matrix, I don't have the correct account number. So if you can transfer me and then stay on the phone to make sure that I have the correct uh, account number, or if you yourself can enter that account number, I would appreciate it so that I don't have to waste okay. any more time. Sure. And this is for services at 2828 42nd, apartment D5 in Astoria? Yes. Any account number I have here is 756-814-476-0001. That's exactly what I have too, and the automation didn't recognize that account number. Of your payment, we accept an electronic check ATM debit card that displays the Pulse, Star, Nice, or Excel logo, Discover, MasterCard, or Visa credit card or check card, a bill matrix fee of $3.50, and your payment will be debited from your account. Have your Verizon bill and your paper check or bank card handy. You can also visit Verizon.com for free payment options. Enter the amount you wish to pay in dollars and cents, followed by the pound sign. Hi, are you still on the phone with me? I am. How much is it that I have to pay? You wish to pay in dollars and cents, followed by the pound sign. We cannot identify that entry. Enter the Do you wish to continue, you Erica? Yes, I'm asking. What is it that I owe to keep? What is it that I owe? $158.99. Okay, I don't, I only want to pay for what I owe, not for this month. This month is not due yet, so whatever is due. I'm sorry, I, I'm not following. I, I, the right. Bill matrix, the yeah. bill, go ahead. 
right now I'm asking, um, there's, there was, there's confusion with my bill. Personally, I believe I'm being double charged, but, um, I'm not going to go into that right now. Um, uh, so I paid in the beginning of this month, um, because apparently Verizon is telling me I didn't pay for the month of June. Um, I looked in my checking account and I see every month, whatever, again, I'm not going to go into that right now, but, um, so I received two email reminders that I still owe for, uh, Fios and that's, that's what I want to pay. I believe, um, you're also looking at the 150 is probably for two months and I just want to pay right now. I only want to pay what I owe, uh, not what's, what's due later on, if that makes sense. This is what's due. This is your balance. You made a payment of one hundred and six dollars and forty eight cents. On what October day? 3rd. Okay, that yes, that's true. Balance. And and that left me a balance of what? How is my bill for one month one hundred and fifty something dollars? It should be ninety nine. You have a fifty dollar restoral fee. Your services were interrupted due to non payment. Wow. It was the services were restored. Okay. $9 late payment charge. So ex how explain to me um in all my 40 something years I've never had my internet turned off nor was I given a warning about that. And you're saying that now I'm obligated to pay a $50 restoral fee? So you didn't receive any notifications about your services were in jeopardy of being suspended? No, I did not. What What do you normally send? Do you send a text? I know you we guys send, send emails. We send emails, text messages, and we call. I did not receive well, any. You certainly did not call. You certainly did not. On what day did you call? Let's go through this step by step. On what day do you claim you called? See if I can find that information. Normally, it's financial services who does that. Back in September. September 12th at 401. September 12th at 401. I'm now looking at my log history. Give me one second. So, I don't see any calls on my iPhone that show September 4th. I see calls from uh, September 5th and 888-528-3733, and then it jumps to PayPal on uh, September uh, 8th. But I have not received any calls on that day, September 4th. Looking at a notification email that was sent on August 23rd. Okay, well, I'm this still at the, excuse me. I'm still, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm still on the phone call part. I don't see a call from Verizon on September 4th, and you're saying you called me? Hello? So the fifty dollar restoral fee is something that would be negotiated as far as the credit. I'm the asking a question. I don't know why you're not um why why you're ignoring my question. You're saying that Verizon called me on September fourth. Is that correct? I advise no. That's not what I. Emails, text messages, and phone calls. Okay, and then and then I asked you. I asked you what day did you what communicate with a customer about their bill. Okay, well you mentioned September fourth and I'm just saying I don't see a call on September fourth, so I said September twelfth. You said September fourth in your call log, Erica. Okay, so September twelfth was what? A call or an email or a text? Yes, and you made a payment. Okay, excuse day. me. You're 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 being very clever. I gotta give you props for that, but I'm asking did you call, email, or text on what I day? Email. I have confirmation.
confirmation of emails. As I mentioned earlier, I advise you that normally that would be financial services who makes those calls who can give you the exact date and time. I'm just going through the notes on the account to see if I can help you and give you that information because they're closed today. So I'm trying to give you the information that you're asking for so that you do not have to call in again. But if you want the specifics as far as the time and date of the phone calls that were made out in regards to collection on the account, then that would be financial services who is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. From 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Well, it's 1.40 now on a Saturday. Monday okay, fine. Um, Saturday. I Right. I caught myself on that. Uh, okay. so, so I don't, I know you're fraud. Okay. And I don't appreciate being exploited and being, you know, taken for my money when I'm not even working. Thanks to you guys. How do you feel about being a con artist? Do you feel good about that? Erica, I've been in my company for 24 years. I have no reason to con my customers. Your services are working, correct? Have you been able to use it? I'm, so I, I, I'm, I'm being, being double charged a month. I'm being double charged a month, and I'm just letting you know that I since consistently pay my bills. I'm 40-something years old. I've consistently paid my bills. I've never had any services turned off except for recently with all the fraud going on with my utilities and with my service providers, okay? So, and I'm letting you know that I was never informed about a $50 res restoration fee, nor was I given proper warning about having my services turned off, okay? So, as someone who uses the internet, as most people do, to live their life, that's a big deal. Internet is an infrastructure. You're disrupting many lives when you just, boom, turn off the internet, okay? I don't appreciate that. Had, and I also was not given proper notification that it would cost fifty dollars. That well, um, and I'm asking you, what day? What day did you? Uh, well, what day did you send me those emails? Uh, you can look in end of August through the beginning of September. Because I'm not seeing those emails. You're saying they that you sent me. You th They're saying they were sent successfully, and I even show that you opened them. Just like any other email, it has the date and time that you opened the email. You opened them on September 12th, and I have the Well, let me look for September 12th. 4, 4 p.m. I see, I see that my service was restored on September 12th. I don't see a notification mm -hmm. that it was going to be turned off. That would be in August. So and what date on email. August? On what date on you August? I mean, th that's what I'm doing. I'm right now, I'm in my email, and I'm searching my email, and I don't see it. So I'm asking, what date on August did you send me a notification that my service was going to be turned off? I sent you on September 7th. Okay, let me look. Well, I don't see. That's funny because I don't see a September 7th email from Verizon, and I'm in my email inbox. I'm in my inbox with all Verizon emails, and I don't see that email. Your word against mine. I don't see that email. I don't see that email. And I have proof that I don't have that email. I save all the emails from you. You're fraud. You're fraud. You're fraud. You are 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 cybercrime. You are cybercrime. You are cybercrime. Let me go ahead and pay that $50 uh, uh, restoration fee, but don't think that I don't know that you are cybercrime. So you can use the account number that was given to you and add the 38 on the back. Would you like to start getting a paper bill? Maybe being enrolled in paper-free billing isn't working for you, Erica. You need the actual paper bill. I, I, I don't know why I'm not on paper bill because um, I never disabled paper bill. And I would prefer a paper bill because to me that's more official and legitimate. So yes, I would like a paper bill. I don't know why I'm not receiving a paper bill. So you're saying, you're saying that I need to add 3 8, excuse me. You're saying that I need to add 3 8 to the account number after 0001. Is that correct? 
when okay. you through the bill matrix, it wants that three eight that's actually on the paper bill. Now, my other question: um, I, I, it, after I pay, what is the amount that I I supposedly owe you? Because you're a con artist. One hundred and fifty-eight dollars. And uh, so, so, Erica, we're going to continue this conversation. I'm going to get you over the bill matrix. But uh, you, you're, you're attacking our company, which is unnecessary. Yes, I am, because you are attacking me as a citizen of the free world. You're attacking my civil liberties. You're attacking my money. You're attacking my livelihood. And I don't know what gives you the right to do that. I don't know what gives you the right to take my money that I work for when I'm not even working. You are fraud. You are cybercrime. And fifty cents. Is that supposed to be doing me a favor? Thank you. But yes, transfer me. Go fuck yourself. You feel good about being a con artist? You guys feel good about that? You need my fifty dollars more than I do. You need my fifty dollars more than I do.
Center, 7568144760001388, if correct, press 1. If in If you are calling to make a payment, press 1. If you are calling to verify... Please allow 30 minutes for Verizon to be notified of your payment. We accept an electronic check, AD and debit card, that displays the Pulse, Star, Nice, or Excel logo, Discover, MasterCard, or Visa credit card or check card, a bill matrix fee of $3.50, and your payment will be debited from your account. Have your Verizon bill and your paper check or bank card handy. You can also visit Verizon.com for free payment options. Enter the amount you wish to pay in dollars and cents, followed by the pound sign. We cannot identify that entry. Please try again. You entered one dollar and fifty-eight cents. If correct, press one. If incorrect, press two. Enter the amount you wish to pay in dollars and cents, followed by the pound sign. You entered one hundred fifty-eight dollars and zero cents. If correct, press one. If incorrect. If you would like to make a payment using the saved payment information for your credit card ending in 7688, press 1. To remove this payment item, press 2. To enter payment information for a new payment item, press 3. The payment information you provide will automatically be presented for future use. To agree and continue, press 1. If you do not want this information for... For electronic check, press 1. For ATM debit card, press 2. For credit card, enter your card number, followed by the pound sign. Your card will be submitted for processing through ESA Network. To proceed with this transaction, press 1. To cancel this transaction, enter the four-digit expiration date of your card. Press 2 for a different payment. Enter the five-digit zip code where you receive your card statement. Enter the last three numbers printed on the signature panel. If you want to make this payment now, press 1. Or if your payment of $158.00 and the $3.50 bill matrix fee will automatically be charged to your account. If you authorize this one-time automatic debit from your account, press 1. If you wish Please do not hang up until you have received your confirmation number. Your payment of $158.00 has been authorized. There is no need to contact Verizon. Please allow 30 minutes for your payment to be noted on your Verizon account. Notification will update your account. And if applicable, restore service or stop interruption of service once the full notice amount is paid. Please allow one hour for restoral. If this is a business account, please allow four hours. Some services may be turned on sooner than others. Your confirmation number is 065313. If you would like to shorten future calls, please...